Hello everyone and welcome to uh, another video of LOR and this time I'll be talking about Child of Light a fantastic game by all merits um, it's, it, it's got a great visual style, the soundtrack is fantastic, the gameplay is very addictive and fun and it's got a nice, simplistic, easy to follow but satisfying story and it, uh, it's everything you could ever want from a game that is so cheap at the same time, um, which is probably to do with its length, in all fairness. It's not a long game, but it's one of these games that I really enjoy that, are, that have been coming out in recent years, which are admittedly short experiences, but very fulfilling experiences. Ones that feel good to, you know, when you finish it, it's, it's, it's satisfying. It's not this bloated, really long but feels like it's just been you know elongated for the purposes of saying oh this is a nine hour game or a ten hour game or longer it doesn't feel like that you know you can accept how short it is because you've had a good time and that's definitely what child of light falls into it is it's very much in that category um so graphically you'll notice um it's it, it's quite reminiscent actually not in its aesthetic but in the way the game looks to the recent Rayman games, and by recent, that's not a fair, okay, the two new reboots of Rayman, which is Rayman Origins and uh, Rayman Legends, uh, two very good games as well, but uh, the aesthetic is different, it's more stylized in its own way than Rayman is, um, and it looks fantastic, it just looks so nice, um, especially on the Vita, which is what I played it on with the OLED screen. Um, it just, everything popped out, you know, um, and beyond that, the music, uh, I couldn't, I can't remember exactly who made the music, but it's very good, it's very poignant, um, and beyond maybe the fanfare for, you know, the, the victory of a fight, it doesn't really get repetitive either, it's all very, it's very well made to the point where it's not going to get grading on you, really, especially with the length of the game, um, as for that, uh, as well as that, sorry. Uh, the story itself, again, as I said, it's simplistic. I think it's you're not don't don't expect any big twists or turns. To be fair, but um, it's good enough. I I enjoy the characters, especially the main character. Um, but it's nothing. It's it's not um it's not one of these grand masterpieces, you know, with complex twists and turns and all this other stuff. But that's fine. It's uh, satisfying enough. Um, that it, it, it fulfills what it's there to do, frankly. Um, and then combat and the exploration of the world and stuff. This is fantastic. This is very fun. It's not a big overworld um, by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a very detailed and very fun one to explore. And the combat system, more often, more often than not, you'll find yourself wanting to fight because it's, it's a fun combat system. I don't think it could properly sustain an entire game without needing a few more things added in to keep it interesting but for the length of the game it is very fun and you can utilize it very well it's a good combat system that doesn't demand you be amazing at the game but at the same time if you want to put the extra effort in to actually do better then that certainly is there for people for instance if you want to swap out a lot of characters get the most out of each of each one of them during combat that's perfectly possible frankly for me most of the time i stuck with one or two only swapping out in some fights where mostly boss fights where you needed to um so yeah it's honestly it's an all-round good game and as i make this video it's about three pound fifty or something um, on PSN, which is one of the reasons I picked it up. I was looking at this game for a long time thinking, oh, I'd probably like that, but I've got a lot of games to play, so, you know, I didn't pick it up. But honestly, if you can get it at that price, just immediately go for it. Do not even think about it. It's a fantastic purchase, and I'd recommend it to literally everybody, even if you're not a big fan, usually, of RPGs and things like that. It's not a long game, and it's a nice experience. It's just a good, fun experience to have. And um, honestly, that is in quite short supply I'd say um, although there are quite a few games coming out in similar fashion to this I don't know it feels like there are far more games coming out that are bloated and you know big budget and things but this one is just spot on I'd recommend everybody go pick it up so uh, there's my two cents thanks for listening